Welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva for those of you all that are new. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in wine, you can always find that information down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading, please. Let's go ahead and get started. What are the messages that need to come through, please, for the sign of Pisces? What does the Pisces need to know most at this time? Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, or a general reading. Sometimes it's love, sometimes it's not. <clears throat> general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. However, um, you do have uh, a lot more readings that I have available if you guys want to check those out, okay? All right, give me two more cards, please. Two more cards so we can get this started. Oh, bird flying. News is on the way. Somebody is about to find out some news. Oh, it's going to bring you all some great happiness. Oh, I'm loving how it's starting off. Okay, great happiness. Oh, for some of you all, this news may have came already earlier in the month of September, but uh, it could be coming closer towards the end. All right, we do have the Mercury and ret uh, retrograde, excuse me. Yeah, it's definitely coming because now I can't speak. Mercury in retrograde is in the shadow period, okay? It starts on the 27th, all right? For some of you all, it could be love coming in, okay? News on the way about love, all right? But they're telling you at this time to be careful, all right? Do not take risk, okay? Be, yes, you know what? The first thing I thought about when it said be careful and not take risk, we all know around this time, you have to be careful of the papers that you're signing, uh, any contracts, be careful when driving or when using uh, like social media, be careful what you post, X, Y, Z. Also, be careful of the exes that you may entertain because this is a time when they come in like crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you all, some of you are going to be very happy. You're going to end up, for some of you all, with a secret admirer. All right, you have the vase card here. Somebody is admiring you whether you know it or not. Someone is admiring you from afar. But the reason why the be careful card is here, because for some of you all, this may be a temporary situation, okay? This relationship, this situation, whatever, it may only last as long as a retrograde. And we know that if you've been in that experience, you know, you're thinking in that moment, you're happy. You're like, wow, oh, things are going great. And then... You're like, what happened to that person that reached out? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, you jerk. All right. You have the mule card here. It says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Look, why do I have a feeling somebody's ex is going to come back and they're still going to be with the same ish they were with before? But <clears throat> I feel like for some of you all, this realization is going to hit that this person it's just not the one for you, all right? And it's going to send you into a journey, maybe a self journey, where you're going to be either physical, it's going to be either physical or mental, okay? Some of y'all could be taking a trip during this time, but I do feel like for some of you all spiritually, this may end up being like a wake up call for you. Uh, it's saying here, danger, especially in money matters, okay? Be careful of your spending at this time. Be careful of who you loan to. They may not pay it back, all right? Just saying. All right, and also with this retrograde, uh, some I just gotta um, somebody may be very careful, especially if you have an account where you have money automatically taken out. Um, you may forget that you have something in there, and you don't want to cause an overdraft. Also, for somebody, if you get direct deposit, your check may not come on the day that it's supposed to. So again, somebody needs to make sure that they are crossing their t's and dotting their i's. Be very careful when it comes to money, and not. If I just got this, somebody has like Netflix, somebody has Netflix and they may forget that they have Netflix or somebody has Walmart delivery. I don't know why Walmart grocery delivery is here, but or, or student loans or something taken out. Something's being taken out of somebody's account. Be very careful because you may be spending and then later on that money is going to come out of your account and you're going to be like, oh my God, dang it, dang it. I forgot. 
but there is some exciting event. I do feel that some of you all are going to be taking a trip too. Okay. There's some event that you're going to, you guys are going to have a good time for some of you all. I feel like you're going to be traveling somewhere where there's a lot of culture where you're going to learn about culture. It could be a museum is the energy here somewhere where it's going to be a culture different than yours is what I'm seeing here. And it's going to be very exciting. Some of you all are going to be going camping. So you're going to be outside looking up at the stars. Just be careful. Oh, wait one second. This just freaked me out. Somebody is going to be camping around this time. Be careful. Bear. You have tent and then you have bear. Make sure that where you set your tent up at or that when you have food, put all of that food away at the end of the night. Don't leave anything out because where you're going, there could be a large presence of bears. I'm just saying. <sighs> Boy, I tell you, these messages are crazy. Somebody... Um, somebody has a vase that they really like, or somebody's wanting to buy you something that you really like. They know that you like things that are antique or things that are porcelain, things that are pretty. So this person wants to give that to you. They want to give you something pretty. Something, oh, flowers. They may want to give you flowers. And you're going to be like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I have the perfect vase for that. Oh, that was so sweet. I wasn't expecting that. That's for somebody. <laughs> That's for somebody. All right. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages about this secret admirer, please. Can you tell me more? Can you tell me more about this person, please? <sighs> yeah. Some, I'm telling you, this person here, for some of you all, you're, you're going to end up walking away from this person and leaving them out in the cold because this person is corrupt and trifling. I do feel like this person is going to try to come in and swindle something out of you. could possibly be money, but it, I'm telling you, they're not going to get far. You're going to leave this person out in the cold. I'm telling you, you're going to leave them out in the cold. Not, But first, you're going to curse them out, though. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to curse them out before you leave. I do feel like this is somebody, some of you all may have had a relationship with this person at one point, this earth sign. It could be a Taurus, a uh, Virgo, could be a Capricorn. Um, but this person here, it's like they're right above the five of wands. Right above the five of wands. I don't like this energy of this person. I feel like they, this is somebody that even though for some of you all, you may have had a relationship with them or you may plan on having a relationship with them, but somebody is dating somebody or have dated somebody that's returning. I feel uh, for some, not everybody's having a love return could be a new person that comes in, but it's going to feel like this person is trying to compete with you. Somebody, I don't know if that's jealousy, but it's like somebody wants to compete with you in some way. But um, I'm telling you, this person is going to have you in your head, maybe um, reevaluating whether or not you want a relationship with this person. But I don't know. I feel like they want to be in competition with you. Yeah, they're definitely hiding something. They're keeping something from you. This is why they're telling you to be careful. But I do feel with this star card, you are going to heal from this relationship. I feel like for once once and for all, you know, what I love about the Mercury retrograde is that this is a time in which things in your life can be solved. They can start to make sense. You can um, get the closure that you need. I feel like somebody's going to end up with closure in this situation. That's why it's going to end up working out and it's going to be a good thing. You're going to regain balance in your life. There's going to be optimism around love and relationships. And I feel... I feel like it's going to come from the fact that now you finally see this person for who they are. I feel like this is somebody, they tried to come in and pretend that they were something that they weren't, but really they were trying to take something from you. I just don't like this person's energy. I don't like their, they have a motive. This person has a motive around the reason why they're coming back. Whether this is to just get sex, whether this is just to make sure that nobody else is trying to get you. This definitely feels like the energy of somebody you may have had children with. 
that you may have left at one point. So what this person is going to show you is that this time I'm going to come back. I'm going to be everything you want, but then I'm going to walk away from you because you don't hurt me. I hurt you. So be very careful of who's coming back. If you get that feeling like something isn't right, nine times out of 10, and this is who you were dealing with. You were dealing with the king of pentacles in the reverse. All right. Somebody trying to bribe you, somebody very materialistic. They come off as calm and cool and collective, but underneath they are just a whole bunch of mess and drop. Look at that. Didn't I just say mess and drama? Five of wands and a five of swords. Fighting, fighting, fighting. It's all this person knows how to do. That's the only thing that they know how to do. It's kind of like, I'm telling you, they're trying to one-up you. Somebody is trying to one-up you, whether this is a, 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 a former friend coming back just to see if, you know how life is going for you. Did you fall apart? Uh, it's, it just feels like somebody's like, did you fall apart? Somebody's mad that you want a lawsuit against them or you, you, you won in court. Somebody's mad that they have to pay child support is an energy that's here as well. Somebody is mad that you got full custody of the kids. I just keep seeing all of this of someone being mad at you succeeding at something. How dare I leave you? Wow. How dare I leave you out in the cold, all right? Abandon you, maybe abandon the children. Somebody was abandoned in the past by this, whoever this is, is trying to sneak their way back in. This is somebody that left you. I feel like somebody left you when you were down. Ooh, for some of you all, they left you when you were in bad health. Somebody left you broke, maybe through a court situation. Somebody left you either sad, heartbroken, in despair. They walked away from you. And then now this person has the nerve to want to come back. Surprise, guess who's back in your life? As if, you know, you've been spending all your time missing and wanting me. They have a lot of nerve. Oh, wait a second. Why did this person leave? Why did this person leave? Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody left you in the past. And now this person is coming back like nothing happened. But they still the same person they were when they left. They left you to do all this healing, to go through all this pain. Some of you all were literally, when I say literally left out in the cold, you were literally left out in the cold. This person left you with all the bills and you ended up losing your place and having to start all over again. Somebody had to go home to their parents or their friends and, and then they want to come back like nothing happened. I'm telling you, somebody walked away. Give me more messages. Give me more messages for the sign of Pisces. For some of y'all, this was a this was a child of yours. They didn't do what they were supposed to do in college. Didn't tell you they were failing, and left you to pay those student loans. Wow. Hmm. Telling you, they slick. I know you're my soulmate. Telling you. This retrograde will have people coming in telling you all kind of lies. Wondering where I went wrong. I feel like it needs to be a violin playing in the background. Falling in love is scary. Falling in love again is scary. I'm telling you, this is somebody with commitment issues that comes in, temporarily tells you what you want to hear, seduces you, and then they go on about their business, and then they want to find the next person. All right, I wish it was you instead of them. Somebody that's coming, but they have somebody else in the background. Why are they coming back? Because they want it just this last time. See, this is somebody that's a flirt. Look at that, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Again, this is somebody that already has somebody else. Somebody that could be involved with multiple people, but they're coming back to waste your time. This person could be an arrogant narcissist. Is the energy here. Uh, and this is somebody that's coming back with this need to charm or use. All right. They're telling you it's time for you all to set up boundaries against this person. See, they don't like this. You moving on, you being independent, you living your best life, being single and happy. I told you somebody doesn't like that. Didn't we get that? Yeah, five of swords and that, and that five of wands. It's kind of like a competition thing. Let me see if I can get this person back to where I had them, back when they needed me, back when they were down and out. 
You're not in that energy anymore. Because you walked away from this person. You were like, I'm leaving now, but things are going to get better for me. And this person doesn't like that. All right. You're in a new energy now. I'm telling you, they see you single. They see you dating. They see you having fun. This is the energy. If you're not here, some of you all are going to be in this energy. You're healing. You've healed for some of you all. Healing. And this person still wants you to be stuck. They still want you to be stuck. Wow. Look at this. See? Something, something happened. There was some type of a, a wake up call. Didn't I tell you that you all are going to be going on some type of a journey? Look at this. All right. I want you to pay attention to this card here. This is all about a journey, right? A journey that you guys are going on. Now let's take a look at some of the cards that came out here. I'm looking for one more. There was one more card that I saw. Wow. Somebody that's watching this video has seen these numbers a lot, especially lately. Five, five, five. There are some major, major things that are taking place in your life. These angel numbers are speaking to you and they're speaking to you for a reason. I'm telling you, some of you all, you just needed closure. You just needed closure. And you got that. You don't need this person anymore. You also have angel number 14 here as well. It says you are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. I'm telling you, this person is going to come back. You're going to stop and think. You're going to say, you know what? You left me before. What will make you think I will entertain you so that you can leave me again? Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's not naive to this person's games anymore. They are not. This pragmatic approach helps to ensure your time and attention and efforts are meaningful. Your time, you don't have enough of it to play around with anybody. They wasted enough of your time. For some of you all, they wasted 14 years, 14 months. It's been too long. And you're not going to allow them to waste anymore. You're done. On to bigger, better things is the energy here. On to bigger, better things. What's coming for the sign of Pisces moving forward? What's coming for the sign of Pisces moving forward? Let me say you don't have you don't have time to play with people. You don't have time to waste. You wasted enough time with this. You're ready to move on to something new. <laughs> I told you, you all are not playing these games anymore. You all are having fun. You're recapturing romance. You're out here giving people a chance. Yeah, I really do. I feel like some of you all, you may have actually already met someone, is the energy here. And you are finally deciding that you do want to give this person a chance. I'm telling you, some of you all have decided to make the effort to get out there to start dating. There could be somebody that's entertaining you now. You're finally saying to yourself, you know what, let me just have a little fun. Let me get out here to date, you know, and let me move on and stop waiting for this person from my past, okay? Let me stop waiting for them to turn around and come back and hurt me again is the energy here. Some of you all are definitely going to be giving a new person a chance. You're going to be stepping out. I'm telling you. Unity. Unity card is here. It says a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. I'm telling you, what you feel about yourself, others see it. All right? So you all are attracting great love at this time. And your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Didn't I tell you you all on a spiritual journey and you're being protected? Okay? This person that's trying to get in, the same person that left you out in the cold? No. It's time for them to be out in the cold. Eagle card. You will soar towards your destiny with great clarity and strength. Somebody has gained strength and clarity and they're moving forward. They're not looking back. This retrograde is going to teach you all about <laughs> the journey of letting go. 
Final message here, polar bear. Ooh, you're going to finally give it to him. You're going to tell this person, whether this was a friend, lover, or family member, you're going to let them know. You're going to stand up for yourself. You're going to speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. It don't get any better than that. If you all enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Share, share, share. Like, like, like as much as you can. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, Pisces.